everyone, I am Pedro Lemos, I am a chef from Casa dos Ecos, we are located at the winery of Quinta de Bonfim at Pinhão do Ouro Valley. So I would love to invite you to follow me in the journey of food pairing for the port wines. I will show you some of the plates that we do here at Casa dos Ecos, having a pairing with wonderful port wines from Daos that grows in these wonderful wineries. Hope you enjoy. For the first food pairing that I'm going to share with you, I chose the wonderful Daos 2009 vintage from Quinta Bonfim. Actually, I can see the winery uh, that gives origin to this wonderful wine. Normally, people, when they have um, a vintage, they always choose for the final moment of, of the meal, kind of a dessert or a cheese. But due to this structure, also I quite enjoy having a vintage port with uh, some savory food. So I choose the octopus that we do here at Casa dos Ecos. We roast it in the wood fire oven and also with some uh, roasted peppers and potatoes and onion. So choosing this plate, bringing the octopus to this pairing, uh, I thought in the um, bringing to the to the harmony with the wine, the fatness of uh, of the, the plate, and also some the spices. I really enjoy the pepper uh, with the, with the wine. Uh, for me, it makes makes a lot of sense and amuses me a lot. So I would love you, all of you, be here <laughs> to share this wonderful food with me, and of course the wine. Still very young, although it's from 2009. The fatness from the octopus and um, roasted in the wood fire oven gives the smokiness. As the Daos have, uh, in his, uh, one of his characteristics is being um, a really dry uh, vintage port with all these ingredients, with all these spices, all the fats that you can find in the octopus. Maybe make no sense for, for what I'm saying, but um, I will wish you try and uh, share with me <laughs> your, your thoughts. But for me, it works wonderful. So next port, one of my favorites, I have to say to you. Daos, 30 years old. One of the most interesting characteristics from Daos uh, ports really dry, but I really enjoy this, uh, this wine. You have some smokiness, hazelnuts, nuts, so it's really, really interesting. And for this port, we thought in a dessert, uh, we use local products as the apple from, uh, from Doro, and we tried to bring up the level of the, what is called traditional apple pie, or apple tart. Also, it's baked in the oven, with some brown sugar, really bake it to, to give a caramelized and, and the roast flavor. So almost trying to, to bring up the smokiness uh, flavor that you can find on the, on the 30 years old uh, using, using the, the, roast, the roastness of the, of the oven. It has a little bit touch of salt in the, in the pastry. So it helps to push up the, even more the acidity of the wine that personally I quite enjoy. Although this wine you can have alone by itself, but of course if you can have a apple tart like this one, it's one of the, my favorite match and the harmonies that, you can, um, that I can present all our guests at Casa dos Ecos. Casa dos Ecos, uh, we try to bring to the plates and uh, we offer our customers this philosophy of use as more local products as we can uh, get. Kind of uh, at the end, you have uh, not only the match between the flavors and uh, the ingredients that we use on the dessert, but also kind of an uh, identity of the terroir. At this, uh, at this moment, you know that you are eating and tasting and drinking all local. So I really hope you enjoy my suggestion for food pairing uh, with port wine. And um, after showing you the wonderful uh, site and terroir of Quinta do Bonfim, where the grapes grow, I would love you to invite to journey to my restaurant at Foz do Douro, where the Douro River meets the ocean, and uh, show you and share another food match and wine pairing.
Well, thank you so much. So hi everyone, after the Dora experience we just arrived to Pedro Lemos, so this is uh, the restaurant where everything started and I will invite you uh, to come in and uh, for the next two wine pairings with the food. Hi everyone, for the wine pairing that I'm going to talk about, uh, shoes, we choose the Grams 2003 uh, Vintage Port. Um, I would like Diogo, my sommelier, to introduce the wine. So I chose this uh, vintage from Grams, and it's primarily located in the superior part of the door. Nice intensity, although it was much, too much of a hot year. It's uh, remarkable on the nose has plenty of aroma and um, spices especially that we look for when we are trying to harmonize especially with a, with a, a salty dish or a savory dish uh, it's important that we look for this type of exuberance so it can match every flavor on the, the, the dish and they can eat <coughs> all in the same way and not be apart from each other So for the Grams 2003 Due to its complexity, already you can feel like it's a full, full body wine. So I decided to bring to the table uh, the pigeon. So again, all is good on the on the on the red wines, and also as the meat is uh, very tender, we used um, also a little bit of the port wine uh, to finish the, the sauce. What I found, what I try to bring here, is um, have to have some some sauce in the plate, so you can, at the time you have the wine, you still have some um, some different flavors in your mouth. It's like a perfect match for me because nothing is fighting. So you having a, I'm having a huge amount of flavors uh, right now. It's very nice. You should try. If you cannot. Do it at home, please. <laughs> Your mother invited to come out to restaurant. As I choose a savory course uh, for the vintage port that usually is for dessert, we choose for the dessert white port that usually is uh, serve as an aperitif or in the beginning of a meal. So, for this moment, uh, of course, Grams Number no. Five, a wonderful blend. And a good example of what um, winemakers can do with a white port. Uh, but Yogo will talk a little bit more for, for, for the port. Although this port is uh, usually for mixing with tonic, or was intended so, uh, we thought it was a lovely idea to have it paired with a, with a dessert that's very aromatic. This wine is the, the example of uh, choosing the good grape varieties, the more aromatic grape varieties to go into a, a white port and then fermenting them at lower temperatures so they can extract all the aromatics uh, that they can give and uh, it's to a wonderful result usually to mix with the tonic water so you can have a refreshing port in tonic but in our case we decided that this uh, exuberance and this tropical flavors are excellent to pair with our dessert. So when I first when I first um, taste blend number five, it was a, a good experience and can remind me the the same thoughts as a chef I have trying to recreate a, a plate. So um, of course when when you taste, you can feel the, the the flowers, you can feel the citrus, the the green herbs and everything. On this dessert we have um, the masha, we have also the lemongrass and miso. We also like to to 
to break, let's say, break the change or to, to bring up new, new, new challenges to our customers and to ourselves as the professionals uh, of the food industry. And of course, we can find a, a very well known wine, but why not? And the meal uh, with a port that usually is used for, for, for start a, a, a food experience as an aperitif. And for us, it makes a lot of sense. When you try, you think in the in all these tropical flavors. Let's say at the same time when you have a dessert like this, and with the acidity points that we use, the the lemongrass or, or the miso, we've been receiving a wonderful feedback for our customers. And um, what I wanted to share to you between all these um, plates and uh, wines that we we, we share with you uh, is like. Um, we don't have to be conservative. We let that to the people that the winemakers they should follow the the, 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 the recipes and the, the, the philosophy in the in the uh, that they they do very well in the wine industry. We should do some challenge for ourselves and try to find new ways to serve the port wine. A Rui port or a vintage port can go very well and a perfect match with the, with the savory food. Also, the aperitif ports like the white port, for me, wonderful uh, combination with the, with the dessert. I hope you guys enjoy the proposition we share and uh, once again, please come and try. Or a Pedro Lemos or a Casa dos Ecos. So, cheers to all of you and cheers to the port wine. <laughs>